Your party has finally reached the mill on the outskirts of town. The sound of rushing water fills the air, and the colossal gears groan as they turn. But something feels off. Is the mill haunted? Or is something even more sinister at play? Incorporating working mills into your RPG campaign can add a unique layer of complexity and danger. Today we're exploring the Alton Water Mill behind me, a restored 18th century mill that provides a glimpse into the bustling world of grain production. Let's see how this historical site can inspire your next RPG adventure. The Alton Water Mill is a fantastic example of water power technology which people have been using for thousands of years. The millstones, powered by the rush of water falling down onto the wheel from the mill pond beyond, would grind wheat and other grains into flour. Imagine the hustle and bustle of millers working here, the constant noise of the machinery and the stacks of grain, waiting still to be processed. Milling makes sense in even the most fantastical of settings. People are pragmatic. Why cast spells or imbue objects with enchantments to do this work when the water moves in predictable ways and always will? So doing mills well is worth the investment to keep suspending your player's disbelief. Now millers provided a vital service to their communities, creating a foundational foodstuff which others could not easily do, flour. This made them quite well-to-do members of the community, but they were also tightly regulated to avoid corruption and shortchanging their customers. There's a lot of laws and politics around mills dating all the way back to the medieval period. The constant sound of water crashing and grinding would fill the air inside a mill. The smell of the dust of the flour would permeate everything. It even cakes onto the wood. Depending on the season, the mill might feel damp and cold or hot and humid from the grinding process. Think about how you can use these sensory details to immerse your players in the setting. Describe the rhythm of the millstones, the creaking of the wooden beams under the heavy loads, and the ever-present splash of water on the wheel. Mills can be dangerous places. Someone could get caught in the machinery, fall into the water, or be overcome by flower dust. Flower dust is also highly explosive, so warn your wizards in advance, no fireballs here or it's an instant party kill. You could even introduce a villain who has taken control of the mill for their own nefarious purposes, whether that's just to exploit the local population, or maybe they're adding something to the flower. This large metal screen at the front of the mill stops debris from entering the water wheel. Perhaps in your game, the players have to investigate after someone, or something, has sabotaged the wheel or the debris screen. This might cause the water level to rise and threaten to flood the mill. The mill pond itself could also be home to all sorts of creatures, both helpful and harmful. These structures and their physical and social environments offer a great opportunity for storytelling. The Alton Water Mill offers a wealth of inspiration for creating a dynamic and perilous location in your RPG campaign. From the sights and sounds to the potential hazards, this historical site can add a layer of realism and engagement to your game. Have you ever incorporated a working mill into your RPG campaign? If so, how did it play out? Share your experiences in the comments below and let us know further ideas about things that you'd like us to check out in the future. Until then, thanks for watching.